This is the new 70K Bands app for the 2020 edition of the 70,000 Tons Metal Cruise. This is the unofficial application by survivors for survivors. There are two interfaces to the application, one before the schedule is made available and a different one after the schedule is announced. Here is the interface before the schedule is made available. You will see all the bands that have been announced. You will also receive notifications when new bands are announced. Typically, the notifications come within five minutes of the band being added to the official artist page on the official 70,000 Tons website. Pull to Refresh is available, but the app should refresh on its own under most circumstances. You can click on any band name to view additional details. There are a series of links you can click on to get more information on the bands. The official website, Metal Archives, Wikipedia, and of course, YouTube. Detailed notes are provided by Aaron Copeland. He does some great write-ups for all the bands. That being said, these write-ups are optional to use. You can edit these descriptions any way you like, or even replace them with your own content. If you want to return to the default note, just delete all data in the notes field and the default notes will be restored. To edit a note in iOS, just click once within a note. For newer versions of Android, double click. For older versions of Android, clicking four times may be required. You can flag bands as must see might see or won't see within the details screen. Back on the main screen, there is a swipe menu that will also allow you to change must, might, and won't. Once these values are set, you can use the filters to show or hide your choices. The filters work as a toggle. Click once to turn the filters on, and again to turn the filters off. Once the schedule is announced and made available within the app, typically two to four days before the day of sale, the interface undergoes major changes. We now display full show times, locations, and event types for everything happening throughout the ship. Once the schedule is on your phone, no network access is required to use all major features of the app. Feel free to put your phone in airplane mode. With the schedule release, there are now two new icons in the filter controls. One allows you to toggle your sort between alphabetical and chronological. The other allows you to reduce your display to only show the events you indicated you were going to attend. In order to mark an event as attended, you can swipe and click the attended icon. When you click on event, it takes you to the band screen and shows all the events associated with that band. These include any scheduled meet and greets and clinics, as well as all shows. You can click on any event to toggle between fully attended, partially attended, or won't attend. Back in the main view, you can still filter by must, might, and won't. In the preferences section, there are even more advanced filters. You can hide events taking place in certain venues. You can filter by event type. Some people like to hide the meet and greet events. Hiding expired events is on by default. This allows the event that took place more than an hour ago to disappear from the display. If a band has no more events scheduled, the band name will appear at the bottom. You can disable this setting after the cruise to show all the events that happened in the past. Further down in the preferences are the alert options. By default, it will alert for all must and might bands 10 minutes before an event taking place 
related to those bands. You can choose to only alert for events you have indicated you are going to attend. You can choose to be alerted 15 minutes before an event or at the time of an event. You can also indicate you want to see last year's data. This is especially useful after the app has been reset for the coming year, but we are still waiting for announcements. Thank you for watching this video. My name is Ron Dorn. I'm the main architect of the software. I'd like to send a very special thanks to Robert Yandavries, who did all the work on the new UI design and is responsible for the new icons and visuals this year. I would also like to thank Aaron Copeland, who works very hard every year to provide all the detailed descriptions. I would also like to thank Dorothy for all the wonderful pre-parties she throws every year, and Andy for hosting the event. See you guys on board in 2020.